exactly, thanks to canker worms. So city officials are keeping an eye on the health of the trees. And there's Charlotte's pride and joy. We have millions of trees in Charlotte. But some homeowners are worried about their trees. I don't know if I'm going to lose these two trees here. And there's a larger willow oak. You can look up and just see this tree. Doesn't have a, a leaf left on it over here. Willow oaks uh, seem to be the favorite of these worms. The Elmans thought they were prepared for this year's battle of the invasion of canker worms. They banned it. It's full of worms, but it can't defeat the number of worms that are present. The doghouse. In fact, the family says the worms are everywhere. When we come outside, it, you can't be anywhere underneath these trees. Um, the worms are on everything. It's just unpleasant, and it's, you know, and they're so bad here. It's a major problem, and we need some help with this. Right now, they're at a high nuisance level, but they're not causing any trees to die. The city's arborist says the population of the worms isn't as bad as it was in 2007 when the city was forced to spray an insecticide over 65,000 acres of Charlotte. Still, this year, it's bad. So will they spray? Do you anticipate doing one this year? No, no, it's too late now. Experts say the worms will be going into the ground over the next 10 days. But for the Owens, it's 10 days too long to wait. If we don't get sprayed, we won't have a tree left next year. City officials say it's a year-long process to get permission from state and federal agencies to spray. And they say spraying depends on a number of factors, including if the canker worm problem is escalating. In Charlotte, Colleen Harry, WBTV, on your side. So are you living in a 